looking for another winner here today as a trainer. He had the short price favourite win the previous, the Sneaky Fox. And this has got a very good chance as well. There's been money for full hand. It was a good winner at Capunda two starts ago, then uh, Gallop just after the start last time at Port Puri and uh, put herself out of the draw. So she's got to come from outside the second row. So it's an interesting race, and they're scoring up now for race five, the Desert Peninsula Taxis Cup. First leg of the double, first leg of the treble. Time to get those investments on. You've got five seconds to get your bets on. We're set to go. Mobile coming into the front straight. Ready now. Green light on, away in racing. Grinferon's being shaded by Growler's last on the outside. And Growler's last will get across Grinferon. Master Caribbean comes across out wide. And still there was just read my mind. But Growler's last leads away. But Master Caribbean's going up to put some pressure on it to the first turn. It sits outside the leader. The favourite Arco, she goes back to the tail end of the field from the wide draw. Growler's last out in front leads away by a full sulky's length. Master Caribbean outside the leader. Rogers is looking for cover. There's none for forthcoming at this stage. Rohorik thought about doing it with full hand, but he went back in with her back in second last placing. Grinferon follows the lead as they head to the mile post, and in turn behind those dropping down to the inside was just read my mind. One out, one back, Pippo Nien, and now he commits with full hand to go to the breeze, and he's going to take her outside the leader. A lap and a half to go virtually now, so Master Caribbean will get 1-1 for that distance. Rock and roll, Yankees angled away from the inside. Second last, Ramsey's Hope and the favourite Arco. She's at the tail end of the field. Lead time covered in 39.5 as they make their way around the bend and out in front it's Growler's last, trying to slow the tempo. Full hand is outside the leader. Master Caribbean is one out, one back. On the inside, following the leader is Grin for Ron. Then in turn behind those, Pippo Nien, who races on the outside. Arco's thinking about coming three wide from the tail. Danny's starting to try and flush out Rock and Roll Yankee, but it's not coming out. Pippo Nien follows follows the 1-1 one, one, and Arco's got a tough run in the final circuit but she's moving forward three wide Back on the inside, just read my mind and Ramsey's hope follows it through. And now we see Rock and Roll Yankee get on the back of Arco. 30.7 for the first quarter. Tightly packed at the 800. Growler's last in front for Girardi. Leads by a long neck. Full hand outside the leader. Arco, tough run three wide, but keeps pressing forward. Uh, in the centre there was uh, Caribbean Master, or Master Caribbean, as full hand pokes the nose in front. Rock and Roll Yankee's on the back of Arco. Three wide with a card up on the inside. Inside, Grinferon has held up. Behind those, Pippo the end's going to come into the race at the right time. Behind those was just read my mind and Ramsey's hope. In the meantime, Arco goes to the lead. Danny Hill goes for home. Still 400 metres to travel, but got away by five or six metres now. In second placing, battling away was uh, Master Caribbean. On the outside of it was Rock and Roll Yankee. Then in turn, behind those, uh, Pippo the end's trying to make some ground and Grinferon getting into the clear. Arco in front. She's had a tough run. She still leads away. She's holding on by four or five metres. Oh, it's been a good performance by Arco for the ladies club and they get the cash. Arco, too good. Second Master Caribbean. Third placing Rock and Roll Yankee. Pippo in the end. Grin for Ron. They beat the others by a fair way. Uh, then we had full hand about 15 metres away. Just read my mind. Ramsey's hope. And the last one to pull up was Growler's last.